What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, I'll be telling you how to set up a GitHub for your Friday Night Funkin' mod. So, first things first, just create a GitHub account and get the GitHub desktop app. So, when you launch it, it's going to look a little bit like the image on the screen right now. But since I already have quite a few repositories, I can't really show that screen. But basically, what you're going to want to do on that page is there should be something called like create new repository, something like that. You're going to want to click that. Um, I'll just add it from here. All right. So let's see, let's see. Alright, so first things first, you're gonna want a repository name. Let's just call it um psych engine tutorial series. Because that's what I'm going to be uploading my psych engine tutorial series on. Uh you don't really need a description. Now you're going to want to choose your local path, which for me should be Psych Engine. Alright, there we go. And then just create repository. So now let's go into modded. Psych Engine tutorial series. You should see something called Psych Engine Tutorial Series. Or, well, whatever you call it, your repository. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move all of your files into there. And there we go. You have your mod uploaded. So now in the GitHub, it will say that there's a lot of changed files. That's every single file you've uploaded. So, how do you publish your repository? Well, look down here. It'll say summary and description. The summary is basically, so let's say, just initial. I, I don't know. Why? I'll just do this. And then the description is optional. You can just do whatever. And then press commit to main. And then just start committing. Now, for updating your mod on game or on, um, GitHub, which is, so basically whenever you create a new file in this folder, or in any of the subfolders, it will just simply appear here, and you can commit it, but we'll talk about that a little later, once it's done committing. Alright, so once it's done committing, it should look like a screen like this. So now, just publish your repository. So once again, that's you for your name your description, but then this is if you want to keep the repository private, but I don't want to. So now it will take a very long time to upload, but I don't really want that. <laughs> I don't care to make my internet bad for a while. But uh, yeah. So I'll just give another example. So the Galaxy Games F now. So this is my mod, um Funkin the Galaxy's repository. So I'm gonna try not to spoil a thing while trying to show you this, but alright, so let's say we want to create a new file. It will show up in here. Then can just commit. 
okay. So then you can just commit, and then it will say push commit to the origin remote, push origin. Alright, but then it will be commi committed if you're looking to grab a commit from somebody else on the team. Then press fetch origin, and if there's a commit, it'll give you it. But anyway, speaking of team, let me show you how to add team members to members to a private repository. Alright, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to github.com and go to your repository. Then you're gonna wanna go to the settings. Manage access. Enter your password. You can choose who you want to give collaborator. Add first people and ask your friends. But anyway, I think that's all that I'm going to do for this video. Um, I hope I helped in some way. Um. I might, I might do another tutorial on GitHub, like how to pull other mods. I'm not sure. But anyway, bye guys.